Hey everybody, I'm here at the Gaming Goat in Elmhurst, Illinois. Let's go check out what they have to offer. Hey, I'm here with Dane at the Gaming Goat. Dane, um, glad to be here and thanks for having us. Tell us a little bit about the Gaming Goat here in Elmhurst. Uh, how long have you guys been around and how are things going at the store? Well, yeah, we're at uh, 152 North York in Elmhurst, Illinois. Uh, we've been open for about eight months now. We opened in October, right around Halloween, which uh, was real fun because we had a bunch of like little kids come in getting candy and stuff. And that was pretty cool. Um, we sell board games, card games. Uh, we do D&D. Probably our biggest thing is Pokemon. I've got a heck of a Pokemon collection. All of it is for sale. Uh, we offer 60% in store credit and 40% in uh, cash for all Pokemon cards, which I'm told is pretty good. Um, as far as board games go, we're all we're always about 20 to 30 percent off all board games, so uh, we try to provide the best prices we can to our community, and. Um, and as for Magic the Gathering, we're slowly building our Magic collection. I think it's getting pretty good, um, but I, uh, I, I hope, it's, uh, I hope it, it holds up. What are some of the newer products um, that you guys have coming out that you're seeing um, in the store? And also, what are some of your most popular uh, products or things that you carry? Hmm. Well, some of our new stuff includes, we always have the newest set of Pokemon and Magic the Gathering. Hour of Devastation just come, came out, and we'll have Ixion. We tend to do midnight releases and pre-releases for those, because I'm willing to stay up that late. So, uh, we're, all, so we're open even really late at night sometimes. Um, new stuff, um, we tend to have whatever the newest, hottest board games are. The problem is, is that whenever we get the newest, hottest, titles they tend to be sold out immediately well that's a good problem to have that's right a good problem to have, yeah. um talk to me about some of the events because you guys do events and and i know you mentioned pokemon but what are some of the other events that you guys do on a regular basis so we hold a uh, pokemon uh masters on tuesdays at 6 30 uh wednesdays at five is our board game night um thursdays we do x-wing uh, we've got these uh, portable tables that we bring out and we set everything up. We also do epic and tournaments for X-Wing, uh, usually about once a month. Um, and on Thurs and on Fridays, we have Friday Night Magic. Saturday, we, we tend to mix it up a little. We do uh, the Final Fantasy trading card game, sometimes on Saturdays, sometimes on Wednesdays. Um, and uh, on Sundays and Mondays, we do D&D. &D. And I've got about six or seven campaigns throughout the area that I kind of organize through the store. So if you like Dungeons & Dragons, come check out the store. We have a lot of fun here with that. Well, a lot of my subscribers uh, on the channel are D&D &D people. So uh, that's, that's a big appeal. Um, give me an idea about the campaigns. You know, what, who, are your, who are some of your players? Do you have campaigns where it's like all kids? Do you have adult campaigns? And also, are you doing kind of free-for-all, homebrew, are, are they Adventurers League? Uh, tell me a little bit more about the D&D campaigns and events that you're running. So on Sundays at 4 p.m., we have the Everybody Can Come and Play games. Um, one of those, uh, we meet every other Sunday. So we have two campaigns that meet every other Sunday. One is mine, uh, which is Princes of the Apocalypse. I'm running it straight out of the book, exactly as, it, as it's written. And the other one is a homebrew from, by another one of our DMs whose name is David. So that's every 4 p.m. So that has a very large group in it of varying ages and people come and go all the time. And then what I like to say is like that's our, our entry door into D&D. &D. And then you can, then I let you know about other games that are starting that are looking for new players. And those can be like we have a horror game going on right now, which is only for older players. There's another one that's being run by a kid for kids. Um, and um, let's see, there's a few other ones that meet throughout the week. We're having our very first Pathfinder session 
uh, Saturday at one, this Saturday at 1 p.m. I don't know when this will come out, but Saturday at 1 p.m. Um, but we post all of that information either on the meetup group, RPG Gamers of the Northwest Suburbs, or via our Facebook page, TGG Elmhurst. And that's where we post all of our, our, our events. So if you're interested in any of that, check those websites out and you can find out what we're doing. Awesome. Well, it sounds like you guys have a great mix of stuff and the store is going well, which is always a good thing. Dane, thanks for having us Thank you for and coming. good luck with everything in your events. And uh, people, if you're in this area, in the Elmhurst, Illinois area, Chicago suburbs, check out the Gaming Goat. It's an awesome place. Yeah.